Hey, this is Crystal from Chase Your Wanderlust. We're here in Corinth, New York at Alpine Lake RV Resort. We're here for two weeks and we're gonna delve into everything that the resort has to offer. It's located in the foothills of the Adirondacks and it's pretty close to Saratoga Springs and Lake George. Perfect destination for summer. With lots of hiking, biking, and water sports, what's not to love? Alpine Lake RV Resort is a beautiful RV resort located near Lake George and Saratoga Springs, New York in a little tiny town called Corinth. It's a beautiful facility and it's probably one of the nicer parks in the Thousand Trails, uh, Trails collection. As Crystal said, we got to spend two weeks in the park and check out a lot of what the park had to offer as well as the surrounding area. Alpine Lake RV Resort has a lot of different amenities. In fact, I won't try and list them all here simply because they're all listed on the website. But needless to say, you're not gonna get bored anytime soon. And if you bring the kids along, I guarantee you're gonna be able to find something fun for them to do as well. Having visited many different resorts in the Thousand Trails system and the Trails collection, I was really surprised at just how active this RV camp was. I mean, the, the resort just had a lot going on. In fact, most of the resorts, quote unquote, in the Thousand Trails system don't really resemble resorts. They're more just kind of quiet, sleepy, old, and sometimes dilapidated RV parks. And now we love them, and I like the old dilapidated parks as much as the new ones, but in this case, this is not that at all. In fact, this is a hop in place where there's lots going on, lots of activities, people all over the place, and this place really fills up on the weekend. Now the seasonal sites here are a little close together, but I was really impressed with all of the sites. If you're just coming for a week or two, they were really nice and quite big. Let's talk about everyone's favorite subject, the bathrooms. Bathrooms here left a little to be desired. The, the showers were not in all of the bathrooms. There's only one shower house. It's located in the same building as the laundry room. So even though this park is huge, there's only one set of showers that we found anyway. And the showers were not kept to the highest standards in terms of cleanliness. It did leave a bit to be desired. Um, they also have no controls for cold and hot water. So when you're showering little ones and the water comes out really hot, you can't change it, which kind of stinks. And the other thing that I really disliked about the showers is that you have to start the shower from outside the stall. You turn the dial, it gives you five minutes and then it shuts off. And then you have to go outside the stall to turn it again. So you make it a little more comfortable with your fellow campers than you'd like. But who doesn't love being naked in front of strangers, right? <laughs> Besides the busy weekends, we had our whole section to ourselves. Lots of room around us, and we weren't just scrunched up against anybody, like a giant RV parking lot that many of us find ourselves in all too regularly. And the trails for the kids were awesome. It's wonderful to be able to get out there and get in nature and work off some of that energy. This area of New York is absolutely stunning. It's hard to believe this is a crazy winter wonderland only a few months ago. So Alpine Lake is pretty small. It's actually only 16 acres and it's surrounded by RV sites. However, right next door and literally just a stone's throw away is actually Woodland Lake, which is 73 acres. And there's a boat launch there and you could easily put a bass boat in there 
and take it out and do some bass fishing or go out and do something that you would do on a more traditional lake because it's a much larger body of water and it's just as easily accessible from the campground. If you're looking to bring a big group of people to a campground, this place is actually very well suited to that kind of a thing. They've got tons of tent sites and also tons of RV sites, but beyond that, they have things like a baseball diamond. They have a giant pavilion. They've got uh, their own restaurants. They could actually cater food. There's all kinds of things here that really make it very well suited to bringing a rally or to bring a large group of people to a campground, whether it's for the weekend or for an entire month. This seems like a very family-centric park. There's lots of families and lots to do. Lots of activities going on on the weekends and kids everywhere. If you're looking to make some new friends for the summer, this is a great place to come. So we are in the middle of August, literally almost the middle of August, and it is so sneaking nice here. I almost wanna go put a sweatshirt on. As someone who's used to spending his summers in the South or the, or the West Coast or the Southwest or the Midwest, this is absolutely wonderful weather. So if you're looking to come here in the summertime and you're worried it's going to be too hot to camp or too hot to be out in the RV, I mean, I see why people come here. Because the weather here, even in the hottest month of the year, is just absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm sure that that's going to differ. It's going to be hotter days and cooler days. But in general, being here in August and seeing this kind of weather, I mean, guys, if you're down in Florida, you're thinking about coming up here towards Lake George area, or you're just trying to get out of the, the heat, of the south, this is definitely somewhere to come. With the Thousand Trails system, there's all kinds of parks that you can get access to as part of the Trails collection. You pay an additional fee and you get access to a whole bunch of Encore parks around the country. Now many of those are going to be 55 and older, so our family wouldn't be able to go visit those, but we do take advantage of them when we can. And a few of the parks are actually a premium park, which means you actually pay extra to be here. So even with our Thousand Trails membership and the Added Trails collection membership, we still had to pay a $20 a night premium to be at this park. Now, is this park worth the $20 premium? First off, I'd say, if you're looking for somewhere that's really nice and you're expecting it to be really nice for that $20, you're not gonna be disappointed when you get here. This is a beautiful place, plenty of amenities. It's definitely one of the, on the higher end of the RV resorts that we've seen in the Encore Thousand Trail system, uh, period. That said, our families enjoyed lots of Thousand Trails parks and Encore parks that we didn't have to pay anything extra to stay at. But this park is particularly nice. So if you're wanting to go to Saratoga Springs for some reason, or you wanna be near Lake George, or you're just wanting to see this part of New York, this is definitely a good option, especially at $20 a night. You're not gonna find anything else like that in this area. In terms of lakefront RV parks, we stay at a lot of lakes. In fact, Thousand Trails is a great option with all of their parks because so many of their parks are in front of lakes or near water. And we love that and we try and take advantage of that. On a scale of one to 10, where I would put this lake, is I would say this feels more like a man-made lake you'd find in maybe like a city, like a private development community. It doesn't feel quite like we're out in the wilderness or nature like some of the other places we've been. Uh, coming just out of Maine at our last location where we were around a whole bunch of natural water. This doesn't quite feel like that. This feels much more like a contrived uh, lake. But if that's what you're after, if you want something that's more manicured, that you know the gardeners definitely been out there keeping up and they've really got everything just kind of turned into um, a more suburban setting then this is definitely going to be the park for you something we were really surprised but excited to see on our way in here was actually a tank and i don't mean a tank like a tank you hold water in or a tank that you hold your fuel in i mean a tank like drive around blow stuff up war tank like like an m1 abrams kind of tank now this wasn't M1 Abrams, it was actually M60. Wait, M60, right? I think so. We think so. This was an old tank like you'd see from like the Korean or Vietnam era. And you see this tank right on the road just before you get here. And so, you know, me being a nerd and my kids being, you know, excited about anything interesting like that, we said, oh look, there's a tank, that's really cool. We'll have to go check it out. So we did, and I was pleasantly surprised to find that they actually have a memorial there for the veterans in town beautiful little memorial set up. Uh, they got the, the the names of the people in this town in Corinth who actually have given their lives in service of our country. And they have a tank there and uh, this beautiful garden setting. 
and I it, it reads on the plaque it's actually a private park established by the lake here so this community actually put up their own veterans memorial for the town that we're in and that just speaks volumes to the character of the people that are here and that was that was really cool I, I haven't seen that in other RV parks to have their own memorial for veterans uh, but it shows that they really care about their veterans here uh, in a way that they put their dollars where their mouth is and that you know I, I as someone who definitely supports veterans and has veterans in his family I, I myself have never served but I think that it's important that we support veterans and it was a great opportunity for me to take my kids and explain to them why we you know we're visiting this place and why it wasn't a playground it was a place that we had to show some respect and uh, and honor the memories of those people who served and come before us to create the beautiful freedoms that we all get to enjoy and so i thought that was really unique something they had here that uh, that really was cool so if you're coming here and you're going to stay definitely watch out for the tank you can't miss it it's on the side of the road and go and pay your respects to the men who served uh, that came from here and that uh, lost their lives and service for our country. As a mom of littles, you probably spend a lot of time doing laundry. At least I do. There's always a mountain of laundry. So they do have a laundry room here at the resort and it's actually a really nice one. They have high efficiency washers. There were a ton of them and lots of dryers too that actually work. None of the machines were out of order. Nice big room. I think one other couple came in to use it while we were there. So it was, it was excellent, excellent laundry facilities. They do have some spots for people like us who are just passing through, but it seems like this park is primarily seasonal. A lot of people are staying here all season. Our campsite is spacious. It has a picnic table and a fire ring, lots of shade and beautiful trees everywhere. We're not too close to our neighbors. And we were lucky enough not to get one of the spots directly under the huge power lines. Like some of the parks that we've stayed at, the, the RV resort is beautiful, but the town just outside the gate is not somewhere you'd want to be caught after dark. From our experiences in Corinth, I would encourage you to drive down to Saratoga Springs if you need to stop at a grocery store. It seems like most of the spots where we are are pull-through spots. It's amazing how many seasonal sites there actually are here. Hundreds and hundreds of seasonal RVs everywhere you look. If you're looking for a community of people to spend the season with, this might be the destination for you. If you're like us and you're just passing through, you should realize it's going to get very busy on the weekends. But during the week, it's not bad. The lake itself is beautiful, but the beach section left a little to be desired. The cool thing is you can rent paddle boards and boats and kayaks and get out on the water while you're here. And if you're into fishing, it's catch and release. Let's talk about a little bit of a hot button issue, something that's going to probably make some people upset and inform others. Now, traveling to all the different parts of the country, having traveled in the Southwest and the Midwest and the South and now the Northeast, you get to feel that there's different culture, different, different, um, different people everywhere you go. And they all have their own kind of flavor and culture and, and ways of communicating. And the only thing that, that I'll say about this area of the Northeast that I haven't really enjoyed is kind of the local attitude of people here. It's just not the friendliest place I've ever been. Um, that said, there's of course there's plenty of uh, exceptions to that rule. People who've been amazingly friendly and smiled and, and been great, and so I wouldn't I wouldn't assume that everyone here is is like that. But I'll just say that the Northeast is probably not the friendliest place I've ever been. And this area of New York, in comparison to where we were just at in Maine or even in Massachusetts, is far less friendly an area. I don't know what that's about. All in all, we really enjoyed this trip. In fact, our kids had a blast, and we would definitely come back to visit this park again. Our kids had lots of fun with the live music on the weekends and meeting new other children on the playground, and the campers next door were really nice. It was just a good time. If you're looking to visit Saratoga Springs, you want to go to the races, or you want to see the history, you want to go sit in the springs, and that's really a neat, interesting, very unique place. And that's where you're, you know, you're just itching to get there. This is a great spot for you to come and stay and go visit because we're really just right down the road, except we're kind of out of the mix and the hustle and bustle of everything in this beautiful natural area with all these gorgeous trees on a lake. And the resort is all the kind of every kind of amenity that you're going to want to have. Um, you know, if you're an RVer 
and you're looking to come to Saratoga Springs, I would say that this is probably the place that should be on the top of your list. Bottom line, we really like this park, and we think that you will too. If you'd like to follow our family on our journey as we travel across the country and North America, exploring new areas and meeting new people and having fun new experiences, subscribe to our channel, come follow us and find us on Facebook and chat with us. And as always, chase your wanderlust.